Hey guys, it's Dominique and thank you for coming back to my channel. I have a product empties video for you guys. I don't have too many things, so let's just go ahead and get started. Well, I couldn't say started. Let's go ahead and get started. I am drinking a Moscato Rosé by the brand Sweet Bitch. I'll leave the video down below, but let's get into these empties. So first up, I have this Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. This is in the scent Lavender. If it wants to focus in the scent lavender, the scent does go away. It's a nice calming lavender. The lather, lather is pretty good with all the Castile soaps for Dr. Bronner's. It just depends on the scent that you want. That was my first time trying lavender. It wasn't bad. Um, if I do get it again, I'll probably get a small bottle. And I should have wiped this off. We're just gonna hold. This is the Dove Even Tone Rejuvenating Blossom Deodorant uh, Rejuvenating Blossom. Now, when I first got this, the scent was so strong. And I only got a little bit left. I should have wiped, wiped it off. I didn't notice that. So this is, do I think this is helping me with my skin tone as far as my armpits? Yes, but I also think the evenness of my armpits is contributed from waxing and using this and tin skin and exfoliating. So I don't know if I could say this alone is just like helping me even out my skin tone for my armpits. I think it's a number of things. But it's about six dollars um a deodorant, five to six dollars, which I don't think is bad. You can find it at Target. I don't think I've seen this at Walmart. So I have the hemp, same size, eight ounce. I really, really like this one. Okay, I really like this one. I would get this over the lavender. The tea tree, I just feel extra clean. Like you already feel scooky clean with Castile soap, but the tea tree, I felt literally like a new person. The peppermint will make you feel like a new person, but that tea tree, that's a must try. I just been drinking and eating because you know yeah <laughs> if we be honest so I tried this cotton candy flavored water by the brand clear American I love this brand these waters are delicious this cotton candy wasn't bad I guess it's like their limited summer collection. It's like a dollar at Walmart. It was some hard liquor, but I don't remember what. Is the Behringer Pinot Grigio wine that I had this past week. And this was $9.80, $9.99 or something like that at Deerberg's, which is a grocery store. I don't think Deerberg's is nationwide, but this was pretty decent. I'm really not a Pinot Grigio type of person. I like white wine, but Pinot Grigio is just a little bit too, too dry for me. Behringer as a winery is on point, but just Pinot Grigio is not my thing. Now, I didn't want to keep the whole box. <laughs> tell you about these Cheerios. <laughs> Let me tell you about these cinnamon Cheerios. I'm a big cinnamon person, okay? I love cinnamon oat milk or my almond milk and then I cut up some banana and I sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon these are so good so so good I just wanted to share that I mean we it's empty products right oh, okay it's this plant-based cheese by Mikios Miyoko's 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 Creamery made by garbanzo beans and oat milk. It tastes mustard like, but I did eat it. I ate it in my salads. I ate it in my noodles. I ate it in, you know, a sandwich. This, this was pretty good. It is $6 a bag. $6 a bag, cause it's made from plants. I did not drink this by myself, okay? I did not drink this by myself. Sutter Home Moscato Sangria, it was okay. It was okay, I would not get it again. My cousin and I, we had a wine night. This is the one we tried. Other than that, I'm not gonna buy that again. I tried the 
Smart Water Tranquility. I've seen these at Target. Um, and this has ashwagandha in it. And it has like a tangerine extract taste. If you haven't had Hint Waters, I find them to be absolutely disgusting. Okay, it's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Yeah. Tresemme Thermal Creations has been around since Scooby was a puppy. I am trying to finish up the second bottle I have of this. I don't really straighten my hair. I blow dry my hair for certain styles. And this has just been the one I've always used. But I'm kind of over it. So... Yeah, it's a heat timer leave-in spray, but it's okay. I still get heat damage. So clearly, either I'm not doing something right, or this just doesn't work for my hair. Deep Moisture Replenish Conditioner. I love this stuff. For $2, this is the moisturizer to get. Like, if you can't afford the higher-end shampoos and conditioners, this Y with the blue logo so hydrating so moisturizing i love this stuff and it smells pretty good but i don't care about the scent it's the moisture the moisture is a wine much it that's it for my product empties nothing but wine nothing but drinks and hair products so yeah that's pretty much how uh, the last month month and a half have been going for me a lot of drinking <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you in the next one don't forget to subscribe don't forget to turn on your notification bell all that good stuff and i'll see you in the next one